Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I wanted to come on and share some projects I've made for KS Craft. These are projects I made with some of the dies from the September release. Uh, I incorporated a couple of August release dies. I'll, I'll uh, link those down below as well as the new ones. And um, these will be linked on the AliExpress store. If you check out Amazon, they might be available there too. But um, I always link to Ali because they're there first. So let's get started with the dies. As you can see, if you remember this background, I am in my craft room. I just put my uh, desk in here with a few uh, essential items while I'm waiting for the flooring to be fixed. So yeah, let's get started with the first one. And I love these dies. They are all like um, baking related. So I was just all over that. Couldn't wait to get started with them. So this first one is the Cookie Sheet Mini Album. And this comes with all of these dies. And as you can see, it's really, really big. So I'll measure the, the project for you in a second, but this is the dies or the die. Uh, the main one here in the background doesn't cut out the center, but if you wanna cut out the center, you could use this insert and put it onto either your die cut or run it through your die cutting machine all together like this. And it will cut out a frame of the cookie sheet in case you wanna make it a shaker or just you know make a frame. So uh, I didn't make a shaker, I just made a, um, just a, a 2D project, but you do have that option. So I love this cookie sheet because it gives all this nice embossed detail. Even the handles are embossed. So it really looks like a cookie sheet, especially if you use like some kind of metallic paper. So I use some, some silver, uh, like matte foil metallic. I'll show you that. And then it comes with this, which is like a, a piece of, or, or some dough that you would roll out. So you could put, um, cookies in there or I'll show you the cookie cutters. This is if you want to make it into a mini album you could attach this piece to the end. I didn't do that but it's an option for you. It has stitching detail as well as holes for your binder rings. It comes with this really nice big um, rolling pin with a layering piece as well that's stitched. It comes with this super cute cookie cutter in the shape of a star. Um, these I didn't use yet. They're a set of measuring spoons with layering pieces and a cookie that you can make um, like chocolate chip if you want to, something like that. And then all of these pieces, it comes with the word sweet in cookie form with the base and then like a layering piece to make icing with that's stitched. It comes with the word recipe in case you want to make it into like a recipe mini album. There's a spatula, a whisk. I think this is a layering piece for the handle. I'm not sure. I didn't use that. Um, a cupcake or a muffin with the layering top. And then the circle. I don't know what that's for either. I didn't use that, but you know, it's a circle. You can use it for whatever you want. So let me show you what I made. Hang on one second. So here is the project that I made and I just love how it came out. Now I was gonna make it into a card, but then I figured it's so nice and big, I could use it as a piece of decor in my kitchen at Christmas time or actually any time. Uh, I decorate my kitchen, especially a hutch that I have in gingerbread and baking kind of things at Christmas time. So I thought I could just prop this up there and yeah, I mean, I could always turn it into a card or something, but for now I just left it as a piece of decor because it's really nice and, and substantial. So, um, so yeah, I use some metallic uh, like foil paper, but it's matte foil. This was from, from Recollections in a silver color. And I think it looks really, really authentic if you do that. It looks really, you know, so much like a cookie sheet. So I did that. And then for the cookies, for the word sweet, I used basil almond cream paper for the um, for the cookie. And then I also cut it out of two millimeter tan foam. I get that at uh, Hobby Lobby or Joann's. And then I distress the edges of the almond cream paper with vintage photo distress oxide. And that really gives it a baked look. So I, I love to do that for my cookie projects. And then for the icing part, I use some uh, plain white glitter paper from Joann's. Plain meaning there's like no other color in the glitter. So I think it looks really sugary like that. And I love how you can see the stitch detail on the letters as well. So that's what I did for the letters. And then this is a piece of ephemera from Gingerbread Kisses, I think from Doodlebug. And I added some Lawn Fawn Clear Glaze as well as some glitter. These are the 
two of the utensils from the die set, the whisk and the spatula, and I cut them out twice out of two different papers, this one out of that metallic paper and this poinsettia paper, and just uh, cut it off here on the poinsettia paper and glued it glued it onto the metallic paper just to make it look like the handle's a little bit different. Did the same thing with the spatula with two different papers. And I added some white glue and some uh, just, you know, like plain glitter, clear glitter for the edge to make it look like it had been, you know, stirring up some batter. And then here's that cute star cookie cutter from the die set. I love how it's open here. It makes it really look authentic to me. And I did use that same metallic paper just to, you know, really look like a cookie cutter. And then for the background, the inset of the cookie sheet, I used this snowflake paper from Doodlebug. It's a nice print, but it's kind of subtle. I didn't want it to compete too much with everything else that was going on on top of the cookie sheet. And I added Nouveau drops all around in pink, dark pink, and like a clear aqua, just to kind of make it look like it was, you know, like, I don't know, cookie sprinkles or something like that. And I just like the effect of that. So let me measure this for you. It's so nice and big. It's about eight inches width-wise, and then top to bottom, it is about five inches. So it'll fit in your standard die cutting machine, no problem. I also cut it out of some some um, uh, some chipboard. Sorry, I couldn't remember the name of it, and layered it on the back just to make it really nice and extra sturdy. And I just think it's so cute. Let me measure the utensils. I did cut out the rolling pin, but I can't find it. So, and that one's really big. Um, this is about, let's say, almost three and three quarter inches from top to bottom, probably about the same there. Yeah, about the same. And then side to side, these tools are about an inch. And the cookies are, let's see, one and almost one and a half inches by mm, about an inch or so, you know, depending on the letter. So super cute. You can use all of these dies for different projects. This would make such a cute recipe album. I mean, there's so much room in here to put like, even like a regular size recipe card would fit in there. So I think this is so great. And then if you wanted to make it into a mini album, that piece, I would just add it to the side here like this. I'm sure there are examples on KS Craft where you could do that. You could even just punch holes into the cookie sheet itself if you didn't want to bother with another piece. So, and if you want to make it into a card, that would be easy to do too. Just, you know, like attach two pieces together there or um, when you're die cutting, just fold a piece of paper right here and put the die over that a little bit so it doesn't cut out that fold. So really, really cute projects, so fun to do. As you can see, there are a bunch of dies that I haven't even used yet for this um, set. So I think it's really a great set to have and well worth it. So the rolling pin, since I can't find it, let me just measure it for you. It's uh, almost six and a quarter inches by an inch. So really nice big size. All right, let's move on to our next project. Oh, and this is so fun, this one. This is the cookie shaker. And this cuts out a, um, a pair of cookies together. And it looks like there's a bite taken out of one or both of them. So the frame part is stitched. So you can make this into a shaker if you want. This is the background piece. You would cut your acetate and your background paper out of this die. And then it comes with these chips too. So I love how they're like irregular. So it really looks like authentic chocolate chips or you can make it, you know, whatever kind of chips you want. But that's what I did. So. This is a shaker that I made. I didn't turn it into anything yet, but I just wanted you to see how cute it is. I used my almond cream paper again for the background and for the frame. I did add some vintage photo distress oxide on the edge of the frame, just to give it a little bit of bake detail. And then I used my um, Walmart foam board to make it into a shaker, plain acetate. I filled it up with little chocolate chips that I made from this die, and I used that brown shimmer paper that I've shown you before I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I had the sprinkles mix with blue, pink, and white sprinkles as well as white hearts. Those are clay pieces. And just added them into the shaker as well. So yeah, I haven't obviously turned it into anything like I mentioned, but um, you know, it's there and available for when I do. And then you can use the negative pieces when you cut these out. Let me show you the little cookies I made. These are like little bonus pieces. So um, when you cut out the frame, it cuts out the, the, you know, the negative piece there from the um, 
almond cream paper and also from the foam. So I just glued those on top of each other after I did some distressing, cut out some more chocolate chips, and then it looks like you have a couple of chocolate chip cookies that are bitten into. So yeah, so just a couple of bonus cookies. I added some ink to the side of the foam board too, just so it wouldn't look like stark white. And so I have four kind of, well, these are together, but you know, three different cookie projects with one die set. And it's a simple die set, comes together so quick, but it's adorable. I've never seen anyone do like a double cookie like that. I thought that was really fun. All right, so there's that one. And the last project I wanted to share with you is the large tag stacking pockets. And this is a large tag. This comes with all of these pieces. This is the background piece. And yes, it's very big. I'll measure it when I show you the project. It cuts out a hole here. And then it also comes with a layering piece for that hole to reinforce it. And then it has this pocket that comes next. And this pocket um, has a gusset on each side, which is really nice. And it does give you some eyelet scallop detail on the top, love that. And then there's a uh, layering piece for that that's stitched. And then this is the front pocket. So there are two different pockets plus, um, yeah, two different pockets. And then this one has a notch in the center and then that has a, a layering piece as well that has a notch. So you just put that like that. Also gussets and yeah, you can mix and match the tags if you want to. Um, yeah, let me just show you the one that I made and I did load it up. So this is a nice big tag and see how the pockets are gusseted at the side. So you can fit lots of good stuff in there. Um, this one I use that new, what's it called? Snow, mm, I don't remember, I don't have it out here, but it's a new collection from scrapbook.com. I just hauled it recently and it's um, Christmassy and snowy. So I thought, I love the colors, really soft pinks and aquas and browns. So that's what I used for this project. So. The word homemade I used, that was a new die set also from KS Craft. That's the 2024 Baking Words, I think. I'll link that down below as well. And I love the font, it says homemade. And let me measure this background tag for you. And I did add a layering piece in the back just to make it look really pretty there too. So it's six and a half inches top to bottom. And then side to side, it's four and a half inches. So really, really nice and big. Let's take these things out. These I had made from previous projects. This is that kind of creepy little pastel gingerbread felty I made. This is from um, a small gingerbread man die set from August. I'll link below. And then this is from that cooling rack stampin' die set that I showed you guys before. And it just fits perfectly in there. So I put that there. This is a piece of ephemera from Snow and Coco, I think. And then back here, this, I had shown you this bag topper before as well. I'll link that. And I put some snow and cocoa, those little like um, mason jar pocket things in the back. So I, th I thought that was really cute. And here's some snow and, co snow and cocoa like uh, little tags. So this is the, the uh, project. And aren't those colors so pretty and soft? Oh, I just love it. And I love the scallop detail with the eyelet. I thought this pretty stripe went nicely with the stitching detail as a layering piece. And you can see the, the um, layering piece that reinforces the hole in the back. I used some soft pink paper from Basil and it's really easy to put together. You know, just fold along the gussets, um, just fold the bottom over the, the hole in the bottom so, or the opening in the bottom so it closes it off so nothing falls out. And it's really nice and spacious, great for swaps, great for gifts. You could fit a lot of good stuff in here. Maybe put some tea bags. Um, what else could you put in there? Maybe some cookies too, a gift card to a tea place or a coffee place. Um, yeah, it's just super, super cute. So I did all the measurements for you, I think. Let me just measure these pockets so you see how big they are. This back pocket is, it's over four and a half inches. Um, just, I guess, just the length, that's all you need to know. And the front one is about three inches. So really, really nice. I love these projects. I hope you guys do too. And again, they'll all be linked down below. Let me know which one was your favorite. I would love to know. I've seen some really cute ideas on KS Craft on AliExpress and from the other design team members. So make sure you check those out for more inspiration. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Until then, have a great day. Take care, bye.